I'll just zoom into that. Nice coin. And here we got the diamonds. There's one carat of diamonds in here. So there's three of them in a series. They bring them out, uh, I'm not too sure which years, but um, they've sold out pretty quickly. You've got the diamond, the gold, the opal, and they do have actually uh, the sapphire one as well. I'm yet to get that. I didn't have time to unpack these boxes. It was uh, it was bigger than Ben Hur the job. I thought it was going to take me um, not too long at all, but um, I kind of blew out of my time. So um, I really don't want to rush this video, but just to give an indication of what I've got. There's the holy dollar coins picked up from the Perth Mint. There's three in a series. Coming down here, we've got the Gilded Tigers. It's a great coin. HMA of Sydney, very dear to uh, the hearts of a lot of Australians. Finally found after many years off the um, off the coast there after the battle with the German ship Cormoran during the war. All hands lost. Got the FIFA World Cup. I actually bought this because uh, Australia's got a team, of course. And if they happen to win, well. Who knows? Probably be worth a little bit more than I paid for it, I reckon. Gilded Koala. All proof coins, guys. Now, some people might, uh, it's not the point of this video, but um, some people might be saying I'm wasting my time buying proof coins, but uh, especially people that believe in just buying nothing but um, nothing but bullion which is obviously a little bit cheaper you, you do pay a premium to buy the proof but because it's only uh, limited mintage and um, they do sell out quite quickly I thought well it's just another way that I can um, try and cover myself we've got the Anzac biscuit tin here actually which is uh, I only bought that the other day it's a complete coincidence but this is uh, um, celebrating the end of the first world war an Anzac coin, it's a silver one ounce, and over here I've got the quarter ounce celebrating the same thing, totally different though, this is gold of course, very nice, and believe it or not, the old Anzac biscuit tin here, celebrating, well I shouldn't say celebrating, as a matter of fact it's commemorating Australia's involvement in Vietnam. Limited edition tin. So I bought 10 of them. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Like I mentioned, guys, this, this took me a lot longer than what I thought to set it up. But I really am trying not to rush the video. At the back here, we've got the uh, Kookaburra series. We've got the 10 ounce, the 2 ounce and a one ounce, that's a 2000 year. We've got the uh, Kookaburra Privy coins, we've got the Shilling Privy Mark, and the Florin Privy Mark. Decimal coinage, limited edition. 2009 Kangaroo coin was actually um, very popular as well, sold out very, very quickly. I'd like to send a quick hello to a work colleague of mine, Holly. <laughs> I was talking to Holly the other day about um, about precious, you know, precious metals and what I think about it and what we can do to um, Try and look after the money we got now for the future. 
Mike Maloney was saying on um, goldsilver.com that um, it's always only ever taken one ounce of gold to be able to buy yourself a new set of clothes and get a meal and uh, to even buy transport. And you know what? That's pretty much the case now. For one ounce of gold, well, in Australia, I think I could buy myself a set of clothes. I'd even buy a cheap car. I'd even be able to put fuel in the car. How's that? Or gas, whatever you want to call it. So, if I hold on to this sort of stuff for the long term, I think I'm just, uh, just giving myself a little bit of insurance. I have to admit, I do like the gold. But pretty much um, in the next couple of days, all this is going to be packed up and um, put away. Before I go though, I really do have to talk about this um, this nice big lump sitting in the corner here. And what we've got here guys, is where all this, all the rest of the stuff on the table pretty much comes from. A bit of a story to this, about 20 years ago, I, um, I ran into a guy who was on the side of the road in the northwest, in a bit of a drama. He'd done his spare tyre, he didn't have a spare. Just happened to have the same unit as I did, so I helped him out, and I gave him a spare tire. He didn't, uh, he didn't have any money or anything with him, but what he did have is this here, and what this is is a natural silver nugget, and it actually weighs just under nine kilos. Now, when we talk about inflation, guys. I guarantee you this much, this nine kilo silver nugget that pretty much produces things like this I guarantee you that this is worth a lot more than a spare tyre now and that's kind of what I'm getting at if you can just get your head around what I'm trying to say here you need to do something people with your fiat money because it's fastly or quickly I should say taking you more and more and more of that paper fiat money to get you less and less and less so unless you actually attempt to do something at least uh, gain some knowledge Train yourself up with a bit of education as far as what you should do with money, people. It's been a huge learning curve for me. I don't profess to know everything. But I am trying to do something for my family's future. And I said that um, pretty much after this video is finished... I'm going to be putting this away and this is what I put it away in people this is just a standard PVC pipe this is another idea I got off YouTube and I pretty much um, just put everything inside it it's got the cap I'll just get the cap over here cap the screws on top I'm trying to do everything one end here but what you do is you just bury that some people like to have safes and uh, what have you, and good luck to them. I um, personally don't like advertising things that I don't really want people to know about. And um, what people don't see, people don't know about, in my opinion. Okay. Sorry about the quality of the video, guys. It is my um, first time at using a small camera like this. And it is um, in the early hours of the morning. This took a lot longer than what I expected to put together. But listen, I hope you enjoyed it. Any feedback would be appreciated. Enjoy. Peace.